and earthquakes and high winds. From New York, freeway close to hell. Now, direct from Brave Reviews as Broadway's Gypsy. Welcome to our show, ladies and gentlemen, because it is the holiday season, because many of you have traveled great distances to be here, because many of you have waited outside in inclement conditions, tonight's program will begin with an impression from me. <coughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, my impression of a security guard at a vintage auto show. A security, security guard, guard at a, at a vintage, vintage auto, auto show. show. Here we go. Hey, don't, don't touch that car. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can feel the love spilling down the stairs. <laughs> uh, uh, New York City, and as I mentioned, it's holiday season here. I think New York City department stores are the only places in the United States where a kid, a youngster, uh, puts down some paper on Santa's lap before sitting down. I think... <laughs> probably... There, look! Right there at the love spilling down. Uh, uh, there's a brand new law here in uh, New York City, and I think it's going to be a good idea. Gun permits from now on will not be issued to anyone who writes on their application, why is everyone staring at me? So from now on, now let's check the love spilling down there. Is it still? No, it's pretty much dried up. Thank God we had the carpeting uh, scotch guarded because when there is a love spill, uh, did you read about this? There's already been trouble now. The Berlin Wall has, I guess, been torn down or opened up for only a couple of weeks, and already there's a problem. Today, West Germany complained to the UN that East Germany is playing their stereo too loudly. So, I don't know. What, what the hell can you... Is there anything? No. No, there's not a thing you can. Is there? No, I don't... Watch this, Paul. Yeah. Uh, don't touch that car. On the show. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, you, hey, look, lady, you do your own damn show, all right? I tell you what, I weigh nearly 200 pounds. When you start taping, I'm coming to your show, and I'm going to heckle you, all right? Man, I can't catch a, catch a break here. It's the holidays. They're trying to sneak the guest list by them, and people are going, no! All right, all right, now listen to this, Big Mouth. She has. Let's begin the fun now, shall we? Here's our good friend, Paul Schaefer. Well, you know, it's, it's going to be a great show, but you know what I love? It's going to be a very good Pat, show. You know what I love is you say, let the fun begin. Yeah. Here's Paul Schaefer, which right. I think is introducing me. That, is a, uh, that indicates that the fun has started. That's right. So the fun has started. Bring on the show. I'm having a good time. Yeah. I now, already... let me ask you, I noticed uh, when I was going after that woman up there, yeah. I got so excited that I actually busted open a button oh, here on this jacket. A button? See, I'm trying to pretend that I don't really weigh 200 pounds. Yeah. So I'm you... trying to pretend I'm back to my old weight, 172. Just so let it... me, here's yeah. something. Don't let, have your clothes let out. Keep no. them the same yeah. as an incentive to, to, to get, get back down. down. Yeah, but yeah. see, I don't think it's really a problem. I still think there's something wrong with the scales. There must be. What are you, what did, did you weigh yourself today? No, I didn't weigh myself today, but perhaps I should have. And the last time, it was what, two? Well, I was 200 and 201. But the time before that, which was like years and years ago, I weighed 172. And 
and I assumed that, you know, like getting your driver's license. Once you get it, that you got it. Yeah. You're, you're, when you're did you weigh, what age were you when you weighed 172? You know, like last year. Oh, last year? Yeah, you don't mind if I have a seat now, do Please you? do. Make yourself at home. So I'm watching this. Have you seen the Seniors Baseball League? Do you folks nah. understand this? Yeah. There's apparently a league in Florida, and it's former, former major leaguers. What, you're interested in this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you seen it on television? No. no. It's, it's what you would expect. It's old guys in cheap uniforms, and many of whom are built like me now. They're kind of fat. And I'm watching a game the other night, and a pitcher delivers, a, throws one, it's a ball or something, and he slips, and oh. everyone runs out of the dugout to see if he's okay. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> it was, it was, and they weren't kidding around. It was like they thought maybe he had broken a yeah. hip or something. The pitcher, <laughs> pitcher had a fall. It's a little ridiculous. Pitcher took a fall. Uh, what are we doing first here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what we're doing. Because it is the holiday season, and I think I've mentioned that now about eight times, uh, we're going to present for you tonight a special New York City holiday street quiz. Paul, do you have music for this? Oh, God, that's lovely. There's Santa right there. New York City holiday street quiz. Get ready and take this at home with us and copy down your scores and then mail them. All right, Paul, they're dozing. <laughs> quiz question number one. Quiz question number one. This man is hoping that soon, A, his assistant will return from lunch, uh, B, some supplies will be delivered, C, a stranger will sit on his lap and tell him what they want for Christmas. <laughs> it's the late night petting zoo. Uh, quiz question number two. This vendor is A, scratching his shoulder. B, looking for change. C, warming a pretzel. Uh, and he might, he could be. <laughs> warming, warming a pretzel. <laughs> Coming in on the subway this morning, this is the first time I actually had one of those experiences. Yeah. I'm sitting next to a guy, I'm sitting across the aisle from a guy who's just flat out asleep. Sound asleep with all his belongings. Uh -huh. He got on the train somewhere, I don't know, in Roanoke yeah. and was writing. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> That's kind of a pointless tale, wasn't well, it? Well, those of us who... You're new to the subway system. Yes, I those am. Those of us who have been taking yes, it for some Thank years. Thank you very much. You know, Here we see, see number this. three. A camera store. B, an electronics store. C, the headquarters of Merv Griffin Enterprises. <laughs> you know, it's a sad day, Paul. Zsa Zsa Gabor is in jail and Merv Griffin is broke. What? As a human race, what are we coming to? Can't even answer that. I'm shocked by that. Uh, at least once a week, this Rockefeller Center guard has to A, give a tourist directions, uh, B, clear a fire lane, C, break up a cat fight between Jane Pauley and Deborah Norville. <laughs> Yippee! Uh, number five, for this family of out-of-towners, it is A, their last day of their vacation, B, their last glimpse of Central Park. C, the last time they were seen alive. Uh, number six, these two gentlemen are A, enjoying their first visit to America, uh, B, seeing the sights in a new land, uh, C, taking photos for their taxi licenses. <laughs> I think I'll enjoy some coffee now, Paul, if you don't mind. Oh, the coffee right there. What kind of coffee do you have this evening? Well, it's not just coffee, you know, Paul. What if... <sighs> Swiss mint parfait. Mm. <laughs> uh, number Bravo. seven. This worker is A, waving to onlookers, B, directing a co-worker, C, warning a jumper to watch out for the wet paint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, number eight, this store is A, a magnet to tourists, B, a godsend to those on a budget, C, a reminder that I need to get Paul something for his birthday. You're only kidding, of course, of course because you kidding. bought me a yeah. fabulous birthday. Yesterday present. was your birthday, and happy a birthday present. Again. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, number nine, a cute title for this scene might be A, Benji's Big Adventure. <laughs> B, every dog has his day. C, runaway bus kills 20. Oh, 
Man, I'm getting pretty good elevation on these cards tonight. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Getting yeah. pretty good altitude. Nice. Uh, and I'm also, I'm seeing the ball better than ever. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just, I'm in a groove. Which is terrific. Yeah, I'm really seeing it. It's, what par? Uh, what is your par now? Uh, number 10, uh, the white. <laughs> what did you say? What is my par? Yeah. Uh, what is my par? Par would be par. I suppose. Par varies par from course to course. Yeah. Par it's it's not par. a constant. But are you under par? Or? Of course I'm. Yeah, I think so. Anybody who's seen this show would have to agree. <laughs> Ask that lady up there. Uh, number 10. Uh, the white smoke rising from this car indicates, cart rather, A, roasting chestnuts, B, sizzling hot dogs, C, the vendor has passed out on the grill. There you go. There's our, there's A. Paul, that's our, that's our. That the guy on the subway, yeah. it, it wasn't like he was indigent or homeless. He was just asleep with all his belongings. Just a guy who passed out. Yeah, just trapped. I don't think he passed out. I think he was on his way to work and just dozing. Why was he taking all his belongings? I don't know. It's, it was with. like if you've been on a plane and you see a guy with their luggage, you know, they put it under the seat, they put it above the thing, yeah. and then they take a nap. That's what this looked like. So it was a guy taking a nap on a subway. Then. Yeah, it, I'm not suggesting that it was, was sad or, uh, or uh, I see. pathetic or to, you know, something not awful. Just a guy sleeping with his luggage. Sleeping on a subway. Yeah. So, great story. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm, I'm trying to now apologize so people don't think I'm making fun I, of a see. man who is in dire straits. Which you would never do. No, of course I never would do it. I know well, Except maybe who... on Tonight Show, I might. I <laughs> might have yeah. to do that. Hey, do wait, what? Hey, no, but have you seen this one? <laughs> look, look, look. There's a kid with yeah. all his stuff, two or three pieces of luggage, matched luggage, I might add. He was just, just, just asleep. Yeah. Gucci Andy. luggage. Yeah, it was, exactly, Paul. It was Gucci luggage. So there's a rich guy on the subway passed out. <laughs> That's right. It was Malcolm Forbes. <laughs> Hello. Our first game was, kids, it's time to play chess. Here's what's going on. For the last uh, several months, we've been playing chess with uh, perhaps, not perhaps, the greatest chess player of all time, Garry Kasparov. He has the highest rating as a chess player ever. I don't know how you've lasted this long. Yeah, well, I'm still on my feet. I'm doing pretty well. I've gotten four or five of his guys. Here's where it started. All the fun began in New York. Yeah. And then we went across the Atlantic and continued the match in, uh, I forget where, <laughs> Moscow, Paris, Paris? Then Moscow. Uh, Gary's traveling by motorhome, by the way. So we drove from Paris all the way to Moscow, then down to Yugoslavia, Belgrade, right there. And now, today, he's in London. And that's where we pick up our match. So he's been traveling to these different places. No, I've been traveling. That's why you haven't seen me in a couple you of years. You call him there. Here's he's the there. phone. Here we go. Gary, hello. How are you? Yes, I'm just fine. How are things in London? Yes, it's a bit better. I enjoyed myself uh, doing nothing. You're playing some uh, chess there? No, no, no. Now I have rest and uh, I have to prepare mm -hmm. myself for the rest of the, at, 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 at the weekend. I see. Are you uh, doing some sightseeing? No. Mm -hmm. No, no, okay, yes. Are, are you, uh, do you run into many chess babes there in London? No, no. No, no. no. yes? I can have one absolute free day doing nothing. Hmm, all right. Here we go. Get ready to make your move. Oh, uh, yeah, my move... Um, yeah, my pawn in the center is very weak, and uh, this pawn wants uh, to become a hero. That's why it's going further. Uh, pawn to queen six. Gary, that's the dumbest. That is with. Look, look what you've done. Watch this. Boom, boom, there. Are you afraid of it? No, no. Okay, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move one up here. Get ready. Here we go. I'm going to move my pawn up one. There. Oh, you, you have several pawns. Which one? I moved to one, you know, one to the right. What, like, what, it's the one second in from the right, one notch in, moved him one notch up. Uh-huh. It's this one. He's, he, oddly enough, his name is Ed. He's right here. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you name your pieces? Uh, no. Yeah, okay. No, so they're equal, you know? All right, Gary, I'm feeling so good. Let's do another move. Another move? Do you right, have another kidding. one in you? Here we go. Make oh, another move. Oh, no, you mean we, we start today a rapid chess? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Martha Stewart is here. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right, Gary, here we go. Make okay, another my, move. Yeah. I think my, if I can position correctly, my bishop is hanging, and this bishop goes back. Back Alpha. to bishop three. Black square bishop from rook five to, to uh, bishop three. Is that it? Like there? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, then I got to... Then I, I gotta move this one, I gotta move, uh, yeah, I'm moving my bishop here, like, there. Okay, if I play with bishop, you play with bishop too. Uh -huh. You just repeat my move. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Gary, let me ask you a question. Are, are you like me? Are you like all of America? Are you tingling with excitement? Uh, yeah, I like you, and about America, I don't know. I haven't seen a full America. Okay. Listen, have fun in London. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Absolutely. Dasvidaniya. <laughs> Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Oh, you're right. Just a joke. Uh...